Hi everyone, my name is Vivian Nguyen. I'm a candidate of pharmacy class of 2021 and today we're going over the medication Lena Glipton, commonly known as Trigenta. First, I'll be going over some patient counseling. Trigenta is a prescription medicine that is used along with diet and exercise to lower blood sugars in adults with type 2 diabetes. Take one pill by mouth once daily. It can be taken with or without food. If you miss a dose, take it as soon as you remember. If you do not remember until it's time for your next dose, skip the missed dose and go back to your regular schedule. Do not take two doses of Trigenta at the same time. Common side effects that you might experience are going to be stuffy or runny nose, sore throat, cough, or diarrhea. Contact your doctor right away if you develop these serious side effects. First, inflammation of your pancreas, also known as pancreatitis. Symptoms of pancreatitis are severe pain in your stomach area that would not go away with or without vomiting. You may feel the pain from your abdomen to your back. Second, severe disabling joint pain. Third, heart failures. Symptoms include increased shortness of breath or trouble breathing, especially when you lie down, swelling or fluid retention, especially in the feet, ankles, or legs, and unusually fast increase in weight and unusual tiredness. Now we will be going into detail about Trigenta. Here is a formal introduction to Trigenta. It belongs to the class of medication called Dipeptidyl Peptidase 4. DPP-4 inhibitors. Its indication is adjunct to diet and exercise to improve glycemic control in adults with type 2 diabetes. The pros and cons. Pros is that it decreases A1C from 0.5 to 0.8%. It's the only single-strain DPP-4 inhibitor with no dose adjustment regardless of renal function. There's no hypoglycemia risk. Cons is that it is high cost. It has adverse reactions such as pancreatitis. Our next important element is the mechanism of action for Trigenta. Trigenta is a DPP-4 inhibitor that prevents the enzyme DPP-4 from breaking down incretin hormones known as glucagon-like peptide 1, GLP-1, and glucose-dependent insulin-tropic polypeptide, GIP. These hormones help regulate the blood glucose level by increasing insulin release from the pancreatic beta cells and glucagon secretion from pancreatic alpha cells. A reduction in glucagon results in decreased hepatic glucose production. These medications enhances the effect of our body's own incretins. Trigenta is a type of medication that lowers your blood sugars in two ways. It stimulates your pancreas to produce more insulin and it stimulates your liver to produce less glucose. Dosage and formulation of Trigenta. Dosage form is Trigenta comes in a 5 mg tablet. The initial dose recommendation of Trigenta is 5 mg once daily. There is a combination product of Trigenta with metformin, also known as Trigenta Duo. We just talked about the dosing, but let's take a deeper look into dose adjustment. For Trigenta, there is no dose adjustment necessary for hepatic and renal impairment. Adverse effects of Trigenta includes nasal pharyngitis, upper respiratory tract infection, urinary tract infections, peripheral edema, rash, and diarrhea. Warnings and precautions of Trigenta. There is a risk of heart failure, especially in patients with a history of heart failure or renal impairment. This risk is seen with saxagliptin and alagliptin specifically, but warning is added for the entire class. Other warnings include acute pancreatitis, severe and disabling arthralgia, hypersensitivity reactions, and bolus fengoid, which is seen with blisters slash erosion requiring hospitalization. Monitoring parameters. For efficacy, you need to monitor A1C at least twice yearly in patients who have stable glycemic control and are meeting treatment goals, quarterly in patients not meeting treatment goals or with therapy change. Also monitor for blood glucose. As for safety, you want to monitor for signs and symptoms of pancreatitis, signs and symptoms of hypersensitivity, signs and symptoms of urinary tract infections, signs and symptoms of heart failure, and lastly, signs and symptoms of bolus femdegoid. These are my references. Thank you for listening to my presentation. I hope you have a great day.